Hello everyone, my name is Yellow and welcome back to another WWE Supercard video and yeah, um, so as you can see by the title, I need to apologise. Um, so I've been hiding something from you guys for five years now, five and a half years, which is something I really need to get off my chest. So I thought this could be... A good place to do it because a lot of people have been watching my uh, my supercard content recently, and I thought, what better way to address it than within a supercard video, I guess. So I'm going to clear the air early. Um, five and a half years ago, I uploaded some videos about my wrestling training that I did. I uploaded two videos, I think, before I stopped. And I never showed you any footage of that, so today I apologize, but I'm going to show you my first ever match later on in this video. Sorry for the clickbait. But yes, later in this video you will see my first ever match that I had, an actual wrestling match. <laughs> so, it is short, I'll give you that much. It is hard to watch, but we are going to get through it together. So look forward to that later in the video, and again, apologize for the clickbait, but I am sorry. I am sorry, but a few things have happened on Supercard. The first thing, the most important thing, I'm still a 99 out of 100, but, but, because of a free pack today, the Kevin Owens pack, look at him, where is he, where is he, where is he? There's so many different Kevin Owens, that, these are not the right ones. The remaining card for Roddy Piper, I'm not going to waste any time, I'm not going to waste any time, let's get straight in. The one card I need for the Mega Collection. We're getting Roddy after these pulls. Let's see if we can get Triple Skulls. Let's see if we can get Seth. That would be incredible if we got Seth and Roddy at the same time. I clicked slightly too late there. And stop. Nope. Can we get Seth in this one randomly? Kevin Owens, the final man that I needed. He comes back to haunt me. Um, these I don't really care about anymore but it's fine to have a few more. And then finally, here we go. 100 out of 100. This is it, the moment we've all been waiting for. 100 to the coins, that's it for this video. No, let's continue on. We get the <laughs> summer stamp pack. I thought it was Roddy Piper. Come on, skip, next, next. We don't care about this. Here it is, here it is. It's complete, my friends, it is complete. Limited edition, 19196. 19,196. Is that a cool number? I think it is. I think it would have been cool if that was a one on the end. Like 19191. Oh, so close. Yeah, 19196. A lot of people have this card. And I finally have two. After five days of only needing that one Kevin Owens, I get him. So we're done. We're done with SummerSlam rocks. Do I regret the things I said in the last video? Is this now a good event now that I've got them? No, it's still a terrible event. You shouldn't have to rely on store packs. But it is what it is. I'm also level 46 now. I hit the limit. Um, there is only 46 levels. I got to the bottom. So that's something, I guess. And uh, this is just going to tell me I've got new cosmetics, which is this card back. But I kind of really like the default one out of the ones I've got so far. Anyway, I don't have many. But yeah, I like just the default one, so I'm going to stick with it. <laughs> um, what else has been going on? I guess the War Games event has started. We'll get that in a second. I've started a team event again. If you're not in the team, check the Discord. If you want to be in my team, I change around people weekly. There will be spots for you if you want to get involved, if you want to do some team events together, or if you just want to hang out in general. Join the Discord. It says up above there, the link is in the description, so, so I should be pointing down. Look in the description. Join the Discord. We've already got quite a few members in there, all chatting, all having a good time together. Get involved. You could join the team. Who knows? There will be spots available. Trust me, I'm switching people out every week. But yeah, we're doing well here. Uh, we devised a plan. And so far, that plan's been working stellarly. I got the maximum amount of points that we planned for, which is 1,368. Orange Peel also got that same amount. In an ideal world, there will be five of us who get this number and five of us who get this number. Didn't quite work out that way, though. 
Um, actually, no. Is that right? I don't think that's right. I think he could have got more than that. But yeah, in an ideal world, for the bottom five of us in the team at least anyway, we could we will all get 1,368. It's, it's going well though. We're way in the lead. The opponent's hardly attacked so far and it has only been going on for three hours so there's still plenty of time. But it's looking good. The other thing, War Games has started. This is my first time playing War Games. Um, I've never played the mode before and to be honest it's very simple. I'm up to Gallows after one day. There's four days to get the event done and I'm, I've already been told after you unlock uh, Bronson Reed there's like a second set of five to, to like get him even higher leveled so as long as I get him within another day then I'm on track to getting them getting even higher by doing the, the next five. And uh, yeah, it's a bank holiday in England as well. Three days off now. I've been working the past two days, so I haven't had as much time to play, which is why I'm only up to Gallows. Still plenty of time. Plenty of time. So I, I've got no issues. Things are going well. I'm pretty sure I'll finish them. Well, I'll, I'll definitely get him. I don't know if I'll finish the next set, but it should be fine. Should be fine. But we're going to play a match here, and then we're going to check out my first ever wrestler match. And uh, I'm using the an edited deck, like a, a sandbag deck, I guess. I'm using a lot of lower tier cards. Um, I feel like, even though I've never played this before until this event, the strategy is just wait for them to place their three cards, because they only ever place three. And then, you know, put your best three to match, um, and just make sure the fourth is in the empty slot, if there is an, an empty slot. Um, which there is in this one, so easy three points there. Easy win against Seamus because I'm using a low, low tier deck with a few uh, WrestleMania tier cards. But since they're boosted, they hold their own anyway. They hold their own, they're good. And I think I just win this one. Yeah, we're fine. We're fi Ooh, actually, I don't know. The, our speeds are very low. I'm not sure if we do win. It might be a tie. Yeah, it's a tie. It's a tie. That's fine though, I've not even came close to losing a single match so far that I've played. So in round two, again, we wait. He's placed a boost and the second one is over there. Um, we'll put in, we'll put Dom and Finn in here. Because, oh, he's put two in here. I made a mistake. I should have put one in here, but you know, see, like I said, these two guys are boosted anyway. Uh, we'll put Gable in and Kurt can go in here by himself because there's no challenger. I should have put one of these in the middle. I didn't think... I thought you could only... Well, they usually only place three cards, and since I've seen the, the boost, I thought, oh, that's two and then one in the middle. But whatever. It should be fine. Or not. He's got some high cards in there, but it's fine. We're still going to win either way. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The point difference is already too much for him to catch up. Um... So we're on to round three. Let's just wait again. He's placed one on the end here against Kurt. Let's just give him some backup. Oh, he's went all out here. You know what? There. That should be okay. Middle, I don't care about because we can't win it anyway. Let's just put Triple H there. And you know what? Just to make sure on this last one, we're going to give a boost. 370 power boost to Ilya. And that should be enough. So yeah, we've won that one. Definitely. That's an extra 10 points. Easy going. Middle one, we lost, but it doesn't matter. You know what? This is going to be a low-scoring game, and usually I'm, I'm ending on around 70 to 80 points. We're not going to get close to 70 to 80 points. It's going to be around 50 points. Yeah, it's going to be 61. That's fine. But usually I can get like at least another 10 points. But yeah, it's an easy mode. It's really, really simple. you just got to grind through it. Um... We'll get these eight picks. I'll actually show you a few SummerSlam picks I got as well recently. Uh, because I did get a few, some really good ones as well. So we'll get to that now, I guess. Um, this is my deck for anyone wondering. Quite a few uh, myth tier. Is it myth? It's not myth, it's noir tier. Um, and then a few extra cards that I got and then four sandbag cards at the bottom there as well And it, it's it works. You get easy wins. So try something similar I guess and you should get easy wins um, But yes, I have F1 Seth Rollins looking good. I've got a third one of him now. So he's one of my best cards um, slightly less 
Then M. Bison, apparently. I'm not sure, looking at the stats. Oh, actually, yeah, M. Bison's got better stats. Never mind. But yeah, he's up there. He's up there, he's really good. Uh, I obviously got Odyssey Jones in the last episode. He's now maxed out. Decent-ish stats, I guess. Um, I got the Pro Rezar, he's also maxed out and fortified because I got another one of him, a third one, so he's looking pretty decent now as well. He's good. Um, I got John Cena from a QR code, which is cool. You can find that online easy enough. I'm not going to find it for the video, but you can find it online. It was on the official Supercard uh, Twitter account. Look in there, they give you a QR code to get either Cena, Roman or Bianca, it's random chance. I got Cena, which is cool. And then today, in the new free store Flip the Tables event, I got a second Bianca, which I wish I saved for this video, but I did the Flip the Tables, it's just, it's literally just snap. Just as soon as you see a pair, you put them together, that's it, it's easy. I got Bianca, which is cool, so I can make her a pro once I uh, train her up, but I literally just got her a few hours ago. Uh, Ray's also been proed now, he's also oh, maxed out on matches, it just needs a variant, but it is what it is. Decent stats there. Carl Anderson also got him as a pro, but I haven't done any matches with him since pro num yet. Um, what else has been going on? Humberto needs to be proed. Carlito needs to be proed. I got a Roman Reigns today, which is pretty cool, just randomly from the board. I got a second Tiffy Strats, so she'll be a pro. I got a second Candice LeRae, so she'll be a pro. Uh, was there anyone else? I don't think so. I think that was everyone. Yeah, that's everyone. Some is lumped here, but yeah, I got quite a few. So, and my women especially are going to be really good soon because I've got a few pros there, which is always good. And Chun-Li is also very close. This one's fully maxed. The second one just needs a few more matches and then she can be pro, so she's going to be good as well. So it's all going good on the card front. Really well. Um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else to show? I think I've went through everything pretty quickly because I want to get to showing you my first ever wrestling match, of course. But yeah, I don't think there's anything else to show. So, I guess it's time, let's watch my first ever wrestler match. Okay, so a little bit of backstory before we begin. This is bad quality, it's not like an official HD recording or anything, it was recorded on a camera quite far way back from the ring. Um, and this was also filmed in January 2019, this is when I had this match. I was, I think I'd only been wrestling for three months at this stage. I'm greener than grass and you'll see that in this video, but... <laughs> The guy right here in the red in the middle of the ring. He's my opponent. I'm not yet on screen, but he is my opponent. He's called Big Chris. He still wrestles today. He was my trainer. And uh, the other guy in the ring here with the, the belt over his shoulder, which you can, you can barely see the belt because of the bad quality. He was my other trainer as well, Paulie C. Um, basically for this match, this is a three-on-one handicap match. <laughs> I am part of the three. The champion, Pauly C, has uh, requested some uh, trainees to to just take out Big Chris, pretty much. That's that's what's happening going into this. There's about maybe 100 people in attendance, maybe 200. There was, there was a decent-ish size crowd, about maybe, yeah, about 150-ish people, I, I want to say. And this is my first match after two months. And, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing, really. Uh, let's let's go into it a bit more so we'll fast forward here and we'll pause again <laughs> so as you can see who, who, who's that right there with the with the silver hair <laughs> yeah so at this point in my life this is uh yeah I dye my hair silver and as you can see I'm much taller than the other two I'm on the side there with the silver hair in the middle is Jake, who's still wrestling today, actually, and he's got in a really good shape. Fair play to him. He's doing well for himself. And we have Ryan on the other side. Um, yeah, I was 24. Jake was 23. Ryan, I think, was only 18, 19. Um, yeah, we, were, we all had only been training for two months at the time. This is all our first show. And yeah, we were nervous, to say the least. Let's, let's continue on. We're doing a group huddle. <laughs> I take the center. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Big sigh there. Get up onto the apron. I am. I'm looking at myself here. I wasn't really in good shape at this point. I was skinny. <laughs> I've put on a lot of weight since then, but I was skinny. And uh, yeah, we we were all told just to wear like similar gear. We're wearing like the training clothes for the academy that I went to, 
Um, that's why we're dressed like this, because we were literally going in as trainees. That was the whole point. Um, but yeah, it skips forward. Here. We get past the promo and we're off. We're getting into the ring. Ring the bell. Big Chris comes straight after me. And look at those forearm strikes. No good at all, but we're piling on him. We're going into the corner. The referee jumps out of the way. Big Chris, you know what's coming here. The Big Show spot. Yes, bursting out of the corner. I fly into the corner. Uh, yeah. Oh, I should mention. How can I not mention? We are TNA. No, we're not. We have a six. We had a six-sided ring, <laughs> um, which was tough to train in because obviously you ex you expect to train in a four-sided ring. We had a six-sided ring. I never wrestled in a four-sided ring. I had two matches in total. This was the first and only one I actually have a recording of, unfortunately. But yeah, we had a six-sided ring. What more can I say? So yeah, Chris. Thrown right to the outside, we go for a double clothesline and miss, unfortunately. Turn around, take down! And I'm down. What a sell. What a sell. And uh, yeah, Chris obviously unhappy with that. Ryan gets back in the ring. Go get him, Ryan. Bounces off the ropes. What's he gonna do? Body splash! No, no, that doesn't quite work. Chris can't believe it either. I'm sitting in the corner, I'm in a vulnerable position. Chris realizes this. He's looking at both me and Jake. So you see, okay, I'm going to pause because you know what's going to happen here. You know what's going to happen to me right now. That move. Let's just rewind slightly. Goes as expected. <laughs> now look what happens here to me. <laughs> he, uh, he slipped and... <laughs> You see the entire ring shake. So let's just let's just watch that bit. Again. Oh. <laughs> you see him as well. I, I need a pause. He hits me. He he slips getting up there. Looks back. He's looking down at me just to make sure. Like, am I dead? <laughs> he fully connected there. Full pause. We've got to watch that one more time. Full speed. No pausing. That one goes fine. Runs at me. Takes me out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down. I'm out. I'm holding my face, but uh, yeah, I'm actually fine to be honest. It was it was fine. I didn't really feel it. it. It went fine, but he did connect. Big spine buster there, though. Into the cover. One, two, three, and that's it. That's all she wrote, and that's also the end of the match. <laughs> so yeah, that was, that was my first ever match. Uh, I do some terrible forearm connections uh i go for a double clothesline and miss and then yeah yeah just a splash in the corner ass to face <laughs> and i was out and that was it that was my first ever match a minute long but we almost had him we almost had him but anyway that's gonna be it for this video i hope you enjoyed it something a bit different there at the end showing my first ever match for the first time ever five years after it happened <laughs> five and a half years after it happened Ah, uh, fun times in wrestling. I think I'll, I'll talk about my wrestling experience a bit more, maybe in the next video, because uh, a lot of stuff happened that I d I've never really spoke about. But uh, yeah, good to finally put this footage out live, finally, even if it is in bad, con bad quality and stuff. It's fun to watch anyway. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it up, subscribe down below if you haven't already. Remember, check the Discord in the description, join the team. And other than that, I will see you all next time.